welcome back to my channel and for today's video i will be testing out some new products some are slightly not new to me because as i've mentioned in my last two videos i was filming a look using the maybelline uh matte poreless foundation however that clip got deleted somehow and the only thing y'all was able to see was the finished result of you know after i applied the foundation so for today's video i'm going to be trying this again and recording me using the maybelline fit me um foundation the instant age rewind eraser multi-purpose concealer and i am going to also be using a couple of things from my boxy charm box this month if you don't know um and this is not sponsored by the way your girl ain't that popping yet i just want to give y'all this information because for people that love makeup and for people that want to try new things but they are scared to go out and spend tons of money on makeup just to be disappointed I honestly feel like BoxyCharm is the way to go. You have the option for getting a basic BoxyCharm box all the way up to a premium box. I think that's the highest box level. Me, myself, I have the BoxyCharm, um, I have the basic box and then I have the boxy Lux. However, I have been, you know, debating on whether or not I wanted to get the premium box because I love makeup and it's very affordable and it's very affordable for what you get inside the box. So I'm just going to give a rundown of everything I got in my box, but I'm not going to be showing everything in this video. So first I got the Benefit Cosmetics Professional Face Primer that retails for $32. And then I got a Zoeva eyeshadow palette that retails for $28. I have the Iconic London Illuminator, that's $41. I have the Dose of Colors Lip It Up Satin Lipstick, that's $17. And then I have the Tony Molly um, I'm Real Sheet Mask, and I have, I think, three of them, and they retail for $9 each. So with that being said, if you add all of that up, I'll have the total on the screen. Um, you get all of that in your just basic model um, boxy charm box. Now, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I love every box that I get. Maybe, I think I've had boxy charm for about a year now. And maybe two or three of my boxes, I was like, uh, I ain't really too much care for it. However, I do love the fact that almost every single month I get an eyeshadow palette or I get some type of uh, highlighter or I get um, I get some false lashes. Yeah, um, so I do love the fact that you get things like that in your box. Um, however, I also love the fact that you get high-end and low-end um, products. And when I say high-end, the highest amount that I've gotten in my box was over $100. And sometimes that can come in your base box too, or it can come in your Lux box. And you're probably wondering, well, how much does this really cost? So the base box is $25 a month. If you get Boxy Lux, it's basically $25 on top of another $25. So it would be $50, but that is every other month. So... Let me take that back. I don't think that's every other month. It's every two months. So you do the math. You get a lot of products in your box for a decent price. And I truly feel like it's something that is very beginner friendly for people that are trying things out. And I must say, since I've been getting BoxyCharm, when I go to the mall or go to the store, I rarely ever purchase makeup anymore. I'll go in and purchase skincare products because I'm just like, I get all this good makeup every month. Why go buy makeup when I have some at home? However, it might be someone that I'm following that's um, a social media influencer and they came out with something makeup wise. And I know for a fact, it's probably not gonna be in my BoxyCharm box for a while and that might be something i go and buy other than that i'm rarely buying makeup and 
you know and oh and another cool thing you also get makeup brushes too so that's another good thing to try out brushes and stuff like that so yeah let's get on with the video because i think i've spent about five minutes just talking about boxycharm and like i said this is not sponsored because your girl ain't that popping yet however let's make that happen boxycharm you know i love you guys and i'm pretty sure I can put people on to y'all that may have been thinking, should I, should I not? But I think you should. So let's move on to the makeup part of the video. So first we're gonna go in with the Professional Primer. And like I said, this retails for $32. And basically it says it's a smoother face primer to minimize the look of pores. So, I will say a lot of people rave about this product. And so, surprisingly, I haven't used this product yet. However, we're going to see what it's all about. So I'm gonna let that sit for a second. And I also want to put you guys on to a little trick. It's not new, but I feel like I figured it out for myself because usually when people explain it, they don't really go into detail about how you should do something. They just say, oh, you do this, this, and that, and there you go, that's how you achieve this look. So I have a couple of spots on my face and I want to hide them because, uh, well not necessarily hide them, but I want to cover them up because when I put my foundation on, I just want to have this clean canvas. I don't want anything peeking through. So I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty foundation and I have the shade 420. This is the exact shade as my foundation. So what I'm going to do is apply some on the spots and you don't have to try to get every single spot on your face but you do want to get the spots that are very very dark and the ones that you just feel like you want to cover up the most so I have a lot of them on my forehead because when I went and got a facial, she basically did some extractions on my forehead and there was a lot of them. However, um, when I get my eyebrows done, I tend to break out in like hives for some reason and they just leave dark marks. So the trick is do not automatically go in and you know blend it in you kind of want it to sit for a little bit so i'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and chat with you guys so i know that we all are dealing with having to stay inside due to the coronavirus however i do want everyone to understand that do not put yourself under pressure to feel like you have to accomplish these goals. And if you don't accomplish it, it's going to make you look like a failure because you feel like you're in the house and you have all this time to do the things that you should be doing or you could be doing. However, I know in my last video, I mentioned that I haven't worked out in three weeks because my gym was closed and... If I'm being honest, when this whole thing started with coronavirus, when we found out about it, I was taking it seriously as far as like when I heard about it, I was like, hmm, I, I want to take this serious, but what if it's not that serious and we aren't going to be stuck in the house? And so in the back of my mind, I'm like, you know what, let me be smart about it and take it seriously. So I started doing the things that I needed to do. 
and then i was still going to the gym up until they actually closed the doors however when it did become like a big thing and they started saying like oh we're gonna let only 50 people inside of the gym or we're gonna let 25 people at a time they had just opened up the new gym by my house and it was like not a lot of people coming because they didn't have it fully open as far as like childcare and classes for like zumba and stuff like that so a lot of people wasn't coming because you know some people need that child care or somewhere to for their kids to you know be able to play and they still can you know go to the gym and stuff so even though you know like i said i wasn't sure but i still was being smart about it i was wiping down equipment before and after i work out which i've always done anyway before all of this happened but i made sure that even though i knew i didn't see someone get off of that machine i went ahead and wiped it down anyway because i just wanted to be on the safe side and then when they closed our gym I didn't think that, I don't think nobody th thought that um, they was gonna like shut a lot of things down and make people stay at home, like, because, you know, of how serious it was. But I wasn't able, me or my husband wasn't able to like go out and purchase like things for our house. And the crazy thing is, we actually had a whole gym set up in our garage, but we sold it because we felt like we were just thinking like you know what we don't really use it like that and we go to the gym we pay for it so uh, why keep this when we're just gonna go to the gym anyway and rarely use this at the house and then next thing you know this COVID-19 coronavirus mess happened and I'm like wow so as soon as we sell our stuff now we're stuck in the house and we don't have anything to work out with. And then by the time we went to the stores, everything that we needed was gone. So it kind of put us in a funk and then it turned into a three week funk where we wasn't working out. And instead of beating ourselves up about it, or for me personally, I can't really speak for my husband, but for me personally, I'm just like, you know what? I'm not gonna beat myself up about it, however, this is something that I do want to continue doing because I don't want to fall off and then get to a place where I was before. And it was like, I would go for a little bit and then I would stop. And I don't want to get back to that place because I actually love working out now. And I do love when I see results. However, I have fallen off and I'm not beating myself up about it because it's life. Things happen, you know, um, you're not gonna always be perfect at every single thing and it's okay. I'm not the only one going through this. So I just want y'all to know, like, you don't don't feel pressure to do something if, you know, everybody in the world is going through this same crazy crisis. You know, however, just make sure that even if you decide, you know what, I'm not gonna do anything at all until this coronavirus pass, that's fine. But, you know, when this is over, just make sure you get back on, you know, the right track and, you know, continue doing what you were doing if that's what you choose to do. However, for myself, I'm actually going to get back on track by meal prepping this week and having my food laid out with my portions again and, you know, just doing some kind of workout that I can do in the house, even though I don't have the equipment, but I do have a mat and, I can do like circuit workouts where I don't necessarily need the weights, but I'm just going to do what I can. So when all this is over, you know, I'll still have that drive and I'll still have that, you know, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but I'm still going to be motivated to work out and go to the gym once all this is over. So I think I've talked enough and I think I've let this set for quite a bit now. So what you're going to do is I'm going to take this brush and it's like, I have no idea what kind of brush this is, but what you don't want to do is like swipe it away or uh, try to like blend it in. What you're going to do is like tap and just tap it out around your face 
because you are gonna put foundation well you don't have to put foundation on if you don't want to i can show you guys so however i do want to say for this particular look i did this yesterday and i didn't use any primer because i didn't plan on you know doing anything special to even eat primer so what you want to do is like i said just tap and just keep tapping in and you know you can spread it out a little bit to kind of make it look skin like because you don't want to walk around looking like you got spots all over your face and as you can see while tapping the product in you are covering up your spots and you literally can just go like that's it so if you ever want to do like a makeup no makeup look and especially if you have like flawless skin already and you feel like, you know what, I just want to put some mascara on. I just want to do my brows, lip gloss, and call it a day. Listen. Oh, yeah. And the reason why I'm tapping with my fingers is because I just want to make sure, like, it blends out well. And the warmth from your fingers will kind of, like, distribute the product into the skin more. So, look easy and then i would simply just apply some false lashes like some natural lashes i recommend the ardell 422 lashes and put a little bit of mascara on top of it look gone and i would call it a day lip gloss call it a day but like I said, make sure you do not like sweep the product, just tap. Because if you sweep the product or try to like blend it out, it's gonna wipe off and then you're still gonna see the spots peeping through. Now, if you are oily, you might want to like apply a little bit of powder, just a little bit. So like I said, you literally can just go just like this, apply some lashes, apply some lip gloss and out the door you go. And you know, if you do have like dark circles and you want to hide that, um you can go in with concealer under there i just recommend just going very lightly just to cover up the dark spots and then apply a little bit of powder and that's it you literally have a makeup no makeup look look very flawless and skin like so now on to the foundation i am going to go in with the maybelline fit me matte poreless foundation in 355 coconut and this is for normal to oily skin um the only thing i don't like about this product is that it doesn't have a pump so you kind of gotta like pour it out and that's the only thing i don't like about it so i'm gonna pour some onto the back of my hand and then i am going to use my foundation brush to kind of like paint it on And then I'm gonna go in with my um, foundation brush by BH Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna blend it out. So now that I have my foundation applied, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and this is in the shade Golden. So 
So while I let the concealer sit for a few seconds, I'm going to shake out some of my L'Oreal, um, not L'Oreal, my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and blend out the concealer. So now that I have my concealer blended out, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Setting Powder and Translucent. And like I said, I don't bake. I just take a little bit and at a time and I just press it under my eye. And I also take some of that powder and I tap it on my top eye on top of my eye because when I get ready to go in with my eyeshadow I don't have to worry about putting uh eye, eyelid primer or whatever that stuff is called on my um eyelid so now that I have that applied I am going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me loose finishing powder in medium deep And then I'm going to go in with my Tarte, um, the Park Avenue Princess uh, Chisel Palette. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Angle. So now that the base of the makeup is done, I'm going to go in and set everything with my Urban Decay All Nighter Set and Spray. So I also want to let you guys know that the Maybelline products, um, as far as the foundation and the powder, they're both about $5.34, I think. Um, but I do know it's in the $5 ballpark. And then I believe because this one was on the more like upscale version of concealers, I think this was about $7, but it's still pretty affordable. So with that being said, I am now going to go into this palette that I received in my BoxyCharm. And this is the Zoeva Palette in Cafe. I was so excited when I got this palette. First of all, the packaging is so cute. Like really cute is my vibe. And I was excited because of the colors that came in. And I'm gonna show you guys the colors. So these are what the colors look like. And these colors are more my speed, but I'm so excited to try these colors out. So I think I'm gonna try to use this palette alone and not have to dip into another palette. But I wanna go for like a matte look today. I'm not gonna use any glitter. So I'm gonna go into my crease and I'm going to take the shade Nuanced History. And that's this shade right here. Yeah, I'm so excited because first of all, all of my brushes are clean. And after this video, I'm going to clean my brushes that I use today because I keep telling myself that and then I allow myself to let all of my brushes get built up and dirty again and ain't nobody got time for that like that's the problem with getting new brushes like you feel like well i don't have to clean them because i have more and that's the problem because then you have to clean all of them at the same time and it takes a long time to do so so like i said i'm gonna take nuance history and go into my crease just to start off with and it's a pretty neutral color. So I'm super proud of myself because I've already gotten a video up and then I filmed another video and 
now i have a video that's going to upload on monday so this video that you are watching right now will be after the video that i'm posting on monday and it's called orange vibes so if you haven't make sure you go back and check that video out and check out all of my videos because you know i'm doing this for y'all and for myself because i love this and being that you guys are subscribed to my channel i think you know we're all here for the same thing so you should go check out that video and let me know what you think so now i'm going to go in and i am going to use the shade called cup of joy and this is what it looks like right here and it's just a brown shade so let's see And when applying your eyeshadow, you don't want to just put it on and go like this. You wanna kinda twirl your brush in circular motions and take your time. And I would say start off with a little bit of color first and then build it up to the intensity that you prefer but just make sure you are blending them very well because you don't want it to look like you just slap a color on and it looks all chalky and cakey and not blended well. So I'm gonna just keep adding color until I get the desired look that I want. So I think I've blended it as much times as I've preferred to be. And I went into that cup of joy color about four different times. So now I am going to go onto the lid and I'm trying to figure out what brush I want to use. So I want to go in this color called Herring Gas. And this is the color right here. It's like an olive green color. It's so pretty. So now that I have the eyeshadow applied, I'm going to go in with my Pure Pro Eyelashes. And let's see, it's called Bombshell. So I'm going to apply my lashes and then I will be right back. So I went ahead and I applied my mascara, the um, Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And then my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara on the bottom. And then I lined my waterline with the same uh, eye pencil I've been using for a while now. And yeah, so this is what we have so far. So I know I told you guys I don't use blush at all. I've only used it like now twice in my life. And this is about to be the third time because I'm going to go in with my Make Them Blush blush by pretty vulgar and i'm just gonna go very very lightly So that is that. And now I'm going to go in with my Pretty Vulgar Highlighter in Shimmer and Swan. And I don't want this to be a very shimmery look. I want to look very matte today. So I am going to go in very lightly.
so that's it like i said i don't want to be too bright today so now i'm gonna go in with my kkw lip liner in the shade nude three If y'all can hear the birds chirping, I'm sorry. I can't do nothing about it. And then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. liquid matte lipstick in coffee. This has, this has become one of my um, favorite colors. So now I'm gonna go in and set my face with my In Beauty Project Setting um, Mist, and then that will be the completed look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I. I'm actually pretty shocked because when I was applying my colors, when I got to the olive green color, I was like, ooh, I don't know if I really like this look anymore. But once you add the lashes, add your lip color and, you know, set everything into place, it brings it all together. So sometimes, you know, if you feel like you might not be feeling something, just keep going to see where it ends up. And, you know, you might end up with, a flawless beat like this so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i am in awe with this palette like i said this is the zoeva cafe palette and let me get that price for you again the price of this palette is 28 dollars, so it's really not expensive at all you get all of these gorgeous shades right here they are very pretty you have a couple of mattes and then you have some shimmers and then this whole palette just kind of tie in with each other so i'm in love with this palette this is going to be my new go-to palette for whenever i want to kind of do something dark and grungy and maybe even do something natural as well because you can do that as well and i like the versatility of this palette so thank you so much for tuning into my video i hope you guys enjoy and i hope you guys are enjoying the consistency that i have been bringing for you guys i love filming i love editing my videos and i love getting them out to you guys and i especially love taking pictures when i'm finished because then i have some pictures to post on instagram and whether we have somewhere to go or not i'm still gonna be slaying from home and you know just doing things that make me happy and keep me going so i hope you guys have a great day i hope you guys are staying safe during this coronavirus outbreak and i wish you guys nothing but the best and i pray that we all get through this together and we're able to go outside soon however i'm gonna let y'all go out there first and y'all tell me how it is and then i'll catch you guys on the next go round Thank you so much for tuning in to my video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you follow me on my social medias. I'll have them in the description box below as well as the products that I have used in this video. So until next time, bye guys.